Hello, I'm Wise at Math Tutor Joseph Burke. I found this question on Wisen's website and decided I'd go ahead and answer it for everybody on video. The question is to find an equation of the line that passes through the point 24 and is perpendicular to the line 8x plus 7y minus 4 equals 0. To show this best, I'm going to take us to Desmos. So I'm going to share my screen with you and I will disappear here as Desmos appears. So we are to find a line that is perpendicular to the point 8x, to the line 8x plus 7y minus 4 equals 0. Not only that, so it's not this line, it's a line that's perpendicular to it. We'll come back to that. But it also has to travel through the point 2, 4. So the most efficient way to do this is to use the point slope form. Which, you should know, is y minus y1 is equal to the slope times x minus x1. Where x1 and y1 are the coordinates of a point. So what we're talking about is x1, y1. So you can see if you line up line 4 and 5 that what we have is x1 is equal to 2 and y1 is equal to 4. So we're already almost there. If we take this right here, x and y are just x and y, uh, x1 is 2 and y1 is 4. The only thing that's missing is the slope. I think I need to put a descriptor, a descriptor there in the slope because it's not just any slope. If, if you see, if you think about the slope, you think, oh, you know, this line over here has a slope, and you could plug in the slope of this line after you figure out what it is. But you would be off on the wrong foot because we're not looking for the slope of that line. We're looking for the slope that is perpendicular, the slope of the line perpendicular to that line. And so what we need to know is that the slope, of perpendicular lines lines are negative reciprocals so i'm not going to talk about what a negative reciprocal is uh, in any depth in this video because it's a short video, but uh, let's quickly figure out what the slope of the line is and find what its negative reciprocal is. So we can plug that in here and have our equation. So if we're starting with this point, this line right here, what we want to do is put it into slope intercept form. And since this isn't a video on converting into slope intercept form and we want to do this quickly, I will just simply show you that after you convert it, which I'm assuming you can do. If not, that would be a great topic for a new video. Make the request. Uh, what you will get is a line that looks like this. Now, after converting your line, and you can see this produces the same line as the blue one. And so this was our original line they gave us, which we're, we don't want its slope. We want the slope that's perpendicular to it. So the slope we're after is going to be the negative reciprocal of this slope. So if the slope of this line is negative 8 over 7, then our perpendicular slope is going to be uh, the negative and negative is a positive, so positive 7 over 8. You flip the numerator and denominator. And so now we're ready to finally define our answer. Our equation of our line, we substitute in for the slope, and we get y minus 4 is equal to 7 over 8 times 
X minus two. And this is the answer to our question. Best wishes. Thanks for listening.